Ready for the truth about Marin real estate? Just the facts, no bias, no fluff? This is your source for this week's current changes. So let's get to it. Each week, I am bringing you the updated information straight from the MLS, the most current and accurate information that you can get anywhere. First, I'm gonna update you on the current stats, and then I'm gonna talk about homes that are back on the market. Those are homes that you thought were sold, but now they are back on the market, meaning they fell out of contract. And then last, I'm gonna bring you the homes that came out this week where the sellers have dropped the prices. Maybe those are a deal now. I move super fast with this information, so pause the video if there's something you need more time with. And of course, if you are thinking of buying or selling a house in Marin, reach out to me because I love to help people just like you make a smart move. Now, without further ado, okay, for a big picture, last week I provided the information from Trend Graphics, which had just released everything for July. However, I'm now not going to have those new stats for at least a couple of weeks, but I want to try to give you an idea of what's going on in the marketplace anyway. So this week, I'm going to provide the information from Redfin. The downside is that this information is only about the San Rafael metro area, so it's just an indication of what's going on in Marin. The upside is that it's current to August 21st, which is awesome. And by the way, I do have weekly current stats for all the towns and cities and areas of Marin County, and I can provide that to you for free. That information to land in your email on a weekly basis, or you could decide to have it done on a monthly basis so that you would be able to easily monitor prices in Marin in your area. Just email me and tell me what place you would like to see. There's no obligation on your part and you can easily opt out if it turns out it's not helpful to you or you don't need it anymore. Now, the stats. Here we are with the Redfin weekly housing market data. And again, this is going to be, and this information is for the San Rafael metro area. First, new listings. This black line here is 2022 and new listings peaked on June 26th which at that point was a 2.1% increase over the prior year. However, now new listings have decreased, although they are not at the lowest point, but now they have decreased to negative 12.4% year over year. This information now goes through August 28th instead of August 21st, so it's even better. How many homes were off market in two weeks, meaning they sold in two weeks? That was steadily decreasing all the way since March, which is about the time mortgage rates went up, and it decreased all the way solidly down to the end of July, but then increased a little bit. So again, like I said in my California video that I'll link at the end, it's likely that since mortgage rates dip below 5% for the first time in four months, and that happened in early August, that there were some people who ran out to pick up some homes. This information would be consistent with that. Homes sold, again, that peaked June 19th, and it decreased all the way down to July 31st, but has now rebounded a bit. Median sales price, that peaked here on May 8th. Went down, back up, down, back up, and has now decreased 1% year over year. Interestingly, from that peak to this trough represents a decline in the median sale price of a home of 17%. That's a pretty significant decline. 17% in price, median list price. That also peaked in April and then declined all the way until the first week of August and then had a little blip and is now going down again. But so far, it looks like listing prices have not declined as much as sales prices. And that is consistent with the stats that I provided in last week's video that included July and the information from Trend Graphics. And last, the median listing price per square foot. That also peaked in April and has pretty much steadily declined with a couple bumps in here to now. So even though we saw some bumps in early August in the other metrics, it has already faded out in price per square foot. Next, let's look at the Marin statistics. This week, there were active listings of 241 single family residences available for purchase. That's a decrease in 50 since just the prior week, which means we have 17% active listings this week. Regarding the new listings, there were 43 new listings this week, and that is an increase of 16%. Regarding reduced prices, there were 16 home sellers this week. 
that reduced the price of their home. And that is 14% more home sellers reducing their price. And this week, there are six homes that are back on the market. And that is a 100% increase over the three homes that were back on the market last week. So let's take a look at the homes that are back on the market. But hey, before we do that, if you're liking this information, please like, subscribe, and share this video to encourage me to keep putting these out every week. Thank you. First, we have this home on Larch Road in Belitis, back on the market for $2,595,000. Next, we have this home also in Belitis on Oak Road, back on the market for $4,250,000. Next, we have this home on Riviera Circle in Larkspur, back on the market for $2,699,000. Next, we have this home on Winding Way in Ross, back on the market for nearly $10 million at $9,995,000. Next, we have this home on Buchanan Drive in Sausalito. It is back on the market for $1,995,000. And last, we have this property in Tomales, California, back on the market for $4,600,000. Now let's look at the homes with a reduced price. Are there some deals in here? First, we have this home in San Rafael. It was recently reduced $51,000, which represented a decrease of 3%, and it is now listed for $1,499,000. Next, this home in Larkspur was recently reduced 4%, which is $200,000 off the prior listing price, and the home is now listed for $4,999,000. Next, we have this home in Novato, also recently reduced 4%, which is a decrease of $105,000. And this house now currently is listed for $2,595,000. This home has been reduced 6%. That's a reduction of $100,000. And this home, which is in Novato, is now currently listed for $1,699,000. This home also decreased 6%, which was a $96,000 decrease. The home is in San Rafael, and it's currently listed for $1,599,000. And another home with a 6% decrease, which on this house was a decrease of $100,000. This home in Dillon Beach is now currently listed at $1,650,000. And the last home with a mere 6% seller reduction, which on this house was a drop of $400,000, is this home in San Rafael, now currently listed at $6,195,000. Next, we have this home in Greenbrae, which has now had a reduced price of 7%, which is a reduction of $200,000, the home is now listed for $2,595,000. This home in San Rafael has had a decrease of 8%. Now that 8% occurred when this home was a coming soon, so it was off market, but they decided to lower the price before they brought it on market. So the new list price is the same as it is listing for as this home just got listed. By the way, if you would like a copy of the off market properties in Marin County, I can provide that to you for free. Just email me and ask for the off-market properties and I'll set you up. These are properties that are not on Zillow. They are not anywhere else. No obligation and you can opt out at any time. Okay, back to this property in San Rafael. This one was decreased during the time that it was off-market but now it's on market and it is on the market for $1,199,000, which was a decrease of $100,000 from when the contract had been signed. This home has decreased 10%, which for this home is a decrease of $1,045,000. The home is in Tiburon and is now listed on the market for $8,950,000. This home in Mill Valley has been reduced 13%. That's a $200,000 decrease, and it's now listed for $1,299,000. This home in San Rafael is also down 13% with a sales reduction of $200,000, and it's currently listed 
for $1,299,000. This home in Novato has been reduced 16%. That's a decrease of $225,000. The Novato home is currently listed for $1,150,000. This home in San Rafael, I know, very hard to see, has recently had a decline in sales price that is 23% lower, knocking off $350,000. The San Rafael home is currently on the market for $1,149,000. And this home in Novato has had a decrease of 24%. That seller knocked $628,000 off the price of the home. It is now currently listed for $1,999,000. By the way, if you wanna know more about any of these properties, just reach out to me, email me, ask me, and I'll email you back more information. Also, if there's anything that you would like to see me doing in these weekly updates, please comment below or email me and tell me what you would like to see. And I'll see if I can add it. And if you made it this far, please subscribe. It really makes a difference. Have a great day.